In this video, we're going to explore how to create a button with link in JavaScript. So this was a specific question. All right, so what we're going to do here, we have this blank page here. I'm going to create you now a few buttons, but this is very important. I don't recommend basically with JavaScript to have a link with a button because you can do it as well in HTML. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically we're going to make here a HTML version, of course, we have this, and then we can say here, google.com for example and then here google all right so this is a standard way to do it. another way to do it of course is to create a button version here so we're going to create this and we put a button here but then of course with a button we're not able to do an href because a button do doesn't recognize an href and i'm going to recommend you if you're going to use a link for html use a href but if you're going to use a function, which is connected to JavaScript, use a button. But because the question was specifically with JavaScript, I'm going to create that one here now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an onClick option here. And this onClick will eventually trigger something. So we're going to say here, uh, let's grab this one here. What you can say here, onClick. And I'm going to say here, go to link. All right, I'm going to put in here this. And then what the link will be, I'll just say as a value of this, which refers to the button here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say a value. And this value would be www.google. Uh, make sure you spell Google correctly, sorry. Dot com. So that makes sense. Or HTTPS, like that. So that's one here. Another one is, let's do another one here. And we can say here, this would be shopee for example very big shopping uh, like amazon basically in in the asian region and let's put one here for amazon as well so let's say amazon all right so what did i do here basically i say here that this reference to the button we click on so let me just start to show you and let's create a function and this function will say you go to link and basically what we do here on click it will trigger this specific function and what i want to do here is let's do a console log and you can see here this here is basically the reference to the element we click on and what i want to do is i want to grab this this item here this is what we call an argument and i'm going to put it here as a parameter i'm going to say here the link whatever we click on and i'm going to copy this and do a console log and the console log will show us exactly or will return the value on what we clicked on. So if I save this and I refresh here, as you can see here, the first one is a link, but this can be created with CSS. You can create a nice button design for that. However, the others here are real buttons. As you can see, if I click on these, it will show us the item here. Let me just refresh one more time. Let's click here on Google. When I click on Google, what happens is it recognizes on which button we exactly clicked on and it shows us all the information. In our case, we don't want all the information. All I want to do is to get the value of it and not the full button element. So what I'm going to do here now is instead of link, which is basically this, and this refers to the full button, I'm going to say here, I want link, which is the element dot value. And then basically it pinpoints the item plus then more specifically the value itself. So let's say here dot value, if I save this, refresh and now if i click on google button you see we get the link here and then we get this one here we get the shopee link and then we have the amazon link or i guess i didn't correct that one here this thing is amazon save that refresh all right so now you can see here and it's amazon so this shows nicely but of course what i want to do now is i want to show the item itself so basically two options number one we can say here we're going to say, if we click on this, I want to say the location dot href. Basically, it would mean here, here we can put a string value, and I could put a string value of, for example, Google. What this really does is a hard-coded value, and later on I'm going to show you how you can put in soft-coded value in here. But what this does is, basically, it says here, on our current tab, wherever we are, I want to now redirect to this specific link here if i save this refresh click here on google what happens is you can see here i'm redirecting my uh, existing page here which is fine it's basically similar to if i click on this here so uh, as you can see here 
I guess I forgot to put in here HTTP. Am I correct? Or yes, just like that. HTTP slash slash, and of course HTTPS. Save that. Refresh. Let's do it again here. This is the basic button here. You can see here, and this is the JavaScript version of. It. So that works nice. And if I click on Shopee, it will show us, of course, the same item or still Google because it's just. It, this is hard coded. Remember, we had a soft coded value here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say here, remove the quotation because it's not a string anymore, it's a variable. So we're going to save this now and then refresh. And now, if I click on it, this is Google. All right. And if I click on this one, this is Shopee. And of course, it doesn't say uh, the item here, it doesn't matter. And if I click on this one, Amazon is secured. All right. So this works. However, this is maybe undesirable because you might want to say, I want to click on it, but I don't want to overwrite this existing page. I want them to be, uh, to open up a new page. So what we can do here, instead of location, I'm going to say here now, window, and I'm say here dot open. And if we do this, parentheses, and then we can say here, whatever the value is, and we can grab this value here and put it in here. So now I'm going to, comment this out because we don't need this one anymore because we have another window open if i save this now refresh and if i click on this what happens is i'm being redirected or not even redirected a new tab opens and if i click back here you can see here it shows the item but a new tab opens immediately with the item if i click here now in shopee it shows this one here but the new or at least in a new tab but the existing tab is still open if I click amazon it jumps up and there you are so you know, maybe you're not able to see the tab, but basically the window that open, make sure that we open a new tab instead of overwriting our current existing tab here. So that's the most important part to understand. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know more about what we did here and create some more functionalities with that, I'm going to recommend you this specific item here on how to add an on-click button in JavaScript. We showed you some basics as well and explore some other features in here as well.